It's not hard to hear the hum of the M5, but it is increasingly hard to live near. Homes on this street in Quinton are just metres from the traffic, with only a wooden fence in between. More than 100 trees, some of which can be seen here on the top right, had helped to block out the noise and pollution, but were ripped down without any notice three years ago. We had a solid barrier of green. We visited Melanie to ask what it's like to live here now. The noise from the motorway can clearly be heard in the background. For the last couple of years, we've had nothing but constant noise 24-7. We get um, pollution, get quite a lot of black, grey, grimy, black and grits almost. We get light pollution all through the day and the night. And I know that sounds a little daft, but when, when the sun's coming over and the lorries go past, they break the sunlight, so you get almost like a strobing effect. Are you able to spend much time in your garden now? Oh, I can do about 10, 15 minutes, and then literally the level of frustration that comes from it, it's, it's quite upsetting. The trees were taken down by the national grid with the green light from Highways England, which said it was part of essential safety work because of the nearby pylons and passing traffic. The locals grouped together and secured an investigation by the Parliamentary Ombudsman for Health and Standards. It's expected to produce its findings next week. If you are inspecting 60 trees and you find six only need to be removed, you shouldn't therefore then fell 100 trees because you needed to remove six. So we want to make sure that the Parliamentary Ombudsman can understand the impact that this decision by Highways England and National Grid has had on residents here and at the very least will say that what was there previously needs to be replaced but also a noise reduction barrier. They protected us from the wind, they protected us from the brake dust. It's much noisier here now. So Connell just talk me through some of these pictures then. So in the summer, it's all very green out the back and it, you know with the sun I know everywhere looks beautiful in the sunlight even the M5 with conifers but in the winter when you've got the snow hanging off them nice and densely packed very pretty and then obviously there was that one as they were chopping them down I managed to get like a, a half comparison to some extent it was so quick it was literally within about two weeks they'd done what must be half a mile to a mile National Highways has replanted some smaller trees and shrubs and said it's carried out repairs to the soundboard fencing. But homeowners say that doesn't make up for what's been lost. What would you say to people who might say, if you don't like the sound and smells of a motorway, don't move to within metres of one? Fair point. And I would agree with that now. If I viewed this property now, then I, I, I personally wouldn't. But at the time, it wasn't like that. The environment was quiet and it was attractive. The constant hum won't go away, but the noise residents have made about an issue that couldn't be closer to home might now deliver the action they've waited years for. Lewis Warner, ITV News, Birmingham.